for North Island Powell River. People and their families are worried about accessing services during the PSAC strike. The union is ready to work with the departments to ensure that veterans can maintain that access, but the minister refuses to talk to them. In fact, the minister hasn't met with the union president for over two years. This is disrespectful and puts our public servants and veterans at risk. What is he scared of? Will the minister do his job by taking, talking to the union, or will he continue to ignore his responsibilities to both veterans and to the union? The Honourable Minister for Veterans Affairs. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I, I thank my honourable colleague for a question. And I have met with the union leadership, I have met with union people, I have met with Veterans Affairs employees. We have increased our funding to Veterans Affairs by over $11 billion. My mandate is to make sure, and this government's mandate is to make sure we take care of our veterans. We have and we will continue to take care of our veterans. The Honourable Member for Hamilton Centre. While this government refuses to give public sector PSAC workers a fair deal, the Prime Minister enjoys complimentary luxury family vacations courtesy of his billionaire friends. And don't be fooled by the Conservatives. While the leader of the official opposition was in government, he always sided with big CEOs. So, Mr. Speaker, at a time when families are struggling to put food on the table, the Prime Minister ignored red flags from inside his own office. Why, why does the Prime Minister keep showing bad judgment by cozying up to the billionaires instead of fighting for everyday Canadians? The Honourable Government House Leader. Mr. Speaker, again, for the third day in a row, I'm, I, I'm happy to talk about this if this is their priority. Yes, the Prime Minister went on vacation with his family over Christmas. This is a home that he had been at since he was one, when he was one years old. It's a friend that he's had for his entire life. It's a family friend that's gone forever. I don't know if the member opposite has stayed at a friend's house before over Christmas or done something like that. But in any event, Mr. Speaker, uh, I've answered this question. I would imagine that there's other more pressing things that Canadians are facing than spending three days asking about whether or not the Prime Minister took a family vacation over Christmas. The Honourable Member for Thunder Bay, Rainy River. Speaker, sadly my kids spend half their lives on the internet. Even my two-year-old Miko needs his daily dose of Paw Patrol or his or my favourite Peppa Pig. 